In this problem, we're being asked to use Newton's method to approximate the x value of the point where these two functions intersect. And we've got f of x equals 2x minus 8, and g of x equals the sine of x plus 3. You may have already learned how to use Newton's method to find a zero of a function or to maybe approximate the value of a radical. It can also be used to find the point of intersection between two functions. Let's just think about this for a second. Let's try to visualize it. So we've got f of x equals 2x minus 8. It's going to look something like that, a straight line. And then we've got the sine of x plus 3. I don't know exactly how this will look, but, you know, it'll be some sine function uh, looking thing. And at some point, they're going to intersect. That point, the x values and the y values are the same for these two functions. So we can represent this point of intersection by setting the two functions equal to each other. f of x will equal g of x at that point of intersection. So I can say 2x minus 8 equals the sine of x plus 3. But to use Newton's method, we want one function all on one side of the equal sign here. So I'm going to subtract the sine of x plus 3 from both sides. And what I get is 2x minus 8 minus the sine of x plus 3 equals 0, and this is the function we're going to use in Newton's method. Remember, Newton's method is this iterative process. We do the same thing over and over again. To get the x value, we take the first x value and we plug it into this formula. The first x value minus the, the function computed at that value divided by the derivative of the function computed at that value. And then we just keep doing this over and over again, taking x uh, uh, sub n plus 1 and plugging it in for x sub n and continuing until we get something that is close enough uh, uh, to what we want our answer to be. In this case, they're telling us you're going to start with x equals 4 and you're going to continue until you uh, get something that differs by less than 0 0.001. Uh, the approximations differ by less than that. So let's see if we can give this a try. We're going to need the function. We've got that. That's this right here. We're also going to need the derivative of the function. So we need to take the derivative of this. So if this is f of x, then f prime of x is, well, that would just be 2. The negative 8 would disappear. And the, um, the derivative of sine of x plus 3 is just going to be the cosine of x plus 3. So there's our f prime of x. And now we can start plugging this in. And if you wanted to, you could put in 4 here, because they're telling us to start with 4, and plug in 4 into the function, plug in 4 into the derivative of the function, divide. You could crank this all out with a calculator. What I like to do is plug it in to a spreadsheet. And I'll show you what I did with my spreadsheet. So here is just a section of my spreadsheet. In this column, these are the, um, the x values, and we start with 4, because that's what they told us to start with. And then here, we have this value of x sub n plus 1. And to do that, I took the x value, and this g27 just refers to the cell in my spreadsheet. So that's x minus 2 times x minus 8 minus the sine of x plus 3. So this is really that function, that original function, and then divided by 2 minus the cosine of x plus 3. So that's my formula, and then I've got this spreadsheet program to take that value and put it over here into my new x value, and then we plug it in again, uh, and, and you can see the cell numbers just advance by 1 as we go down here. And once I've typed in this, it's really just a matter of copying and pasting and it calculates the values automatically. And you can see, after just a few calculations, we get down to 4.462, uh, and it stays there uh, pretty much. There may be some changes in the digits way out here, but my spreadsheet isn't showing it. And it's accurate enough for, for us, so we get 4.462 for our answer. If you haven't tried a spreadsheet uh, to do Newton's method problems, I recommend it. So that's how to use Newton's method to approximate the value of the point of intersection of two functions. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions off campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.com.
www.ohio.org. Thanks.